This might be the most embarrassing excuse that I've ever heard for a guy losing the fight. Deontay is so proud. He's going into ego protection. He's looking for reasons he lost because his brain can't accept that dude's better than me. But I don't like all this excuse making. Even if that was the case, if it weighed 100 pounds, you put it on, you decided to do it. Don't make that excuse. So Deontay Wilder is obviously receiving a lot of backlash over his comments about the costume that hindered his performance. Dylan Dennis tweeted out, I have so much respect for Deontay Wilder, but the costume excuse is so weak. Nobody made you wear that. Just take the loss like a man and come back stronger. And that tweet is pretty much the gist of how everybody's feeling. Some people believe that he is telling the truth. He's not lying. Stephen A. Smith tweets, Man, I'm wishing the bronze bomber the best and hoping he comes back from this. One loss doesn't erase the previous 42 KOs he's had. I damn sure ain't counting them out, but that costume explanation, Lord have mercy. Do I think he's telling the truth? Yes, he's a good dude. I mean, that's like saying I lost the chess match we were playing because I went to go eat McDonald's and it hindered my thinking. I mean, it's just like you made a mistake, man. You should have been more professional about it. You lost before the battle and you lost the battle itself, so... Hey, no matter how you look at it, it's not good. And people are also looking into the fact of him firing the cornerman who threw in the towel, and people are wondering if he should have did that or not. He expressed his feelings in a statement. He said, I am upset with Mark for the simple fact that we've talked about this many times, and it's not emotional. It is not an emotional thing. It's a principal thing. We've talked about this situation many, many years before this even happened. I said, as a warrior, as a champion, as a leader, as a ruler, I want to go out on my shield. If I'm talking about going in and killing a man, I respect the same way. I abide by the same principle of receiving. So I told my team to never, ever, no matter what it may look like, to never throw the towel in with me because I'm a special kind. I still have five rounds left. No matter what it looked like, I was still in the fight. I understand he was looking out for me and trying to do what he felt was right, but this is my life and my career, and he has to accept my wishes. I am told that when Deontay Wilder got to his locker room, with his team, where it was nice and quiet, where the cameras are not, he turned to the team, said, which one of you stopped the fight? That coach raised his hand, and Deontay fired him on the spot. Now, Jay, the head guy in charge of the corner, talked about what was happening in that moment before the towel was thrown in, what kind of conversations were had, and whatnot. Jay, Jay all the way in the back, can you just can you clarify what was going on in the corner before the towel was thrown? Does, does Mark have the authority to throw the towel in like that? I mean, were you talking back and forth? Just that whole one minute long process, what was going on there? Well, I'm, I'm the head coach of the team, but we do things a little bit differently. 99% of the time, the head coach of the team is also the guy that's the lead in the corner. Ours is a little bit more like a football team, American football, where the head coach doesn't necessarily call the plays. You have an offensive and defensive coordinator. So ours is a little bit like that. So what happened between rounds was, Mark said something about possibly throw, I mean, uh, during the round, Mark said something about throwing the towel in, and I told him, uh, I don't do that. Uh, I, I didn't think he should do that. And um, then the fight went a little bit longer, and then I saw the towel go in. So we haven't, I haven't talked to Mark about it, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it and figure out what, you know, what exactly happened there. And that's a tricky situation. I mean, Wilder was bleeding from his ear. Now we know it's a cut, but before then, people were speculating it was a busted eardrum, and he was getting rocked repeatedly. And as a coach, you want your fighter to be able to survive the next day. And in boxing, where just last year alone four people had died, you know the heat was on in his mind. And a lot of people think the fight could have ended two rounds earlier, and they wouldn't have been mad at it. So for Wilder to go ahead and fire that guy for just showing some awareness that a lot of people respected is kind of a surprise to everybody. And for Wilder, his perspective of it is is that um, he's got that right hand. He can knock anybody out at any given time. So throwing in a towel is not an option. What do you guys think? Do you think the coach should have kept his job or do you think he should have got fired? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.